It's been a crazy day for gold and silver, and what we just saw will happen again, and likely also in the other direction. We'll talk about it, and so much more, as we explore. Gold and silver are up today, and fairly dramatically before pulling back some of their gains, Mere moments before the markets close, this is where it stands with all the precious metals. Everything is in the green, including rhodium. Rhodium doesn't move very often, but it is up now to an even $5,000 an ounce. Up $75 today, 1.68% increase. Palladium is up almost a half a percentage point, up 0.43%, up $4 today to $964 still well below a thousand dollars an ounce same thing with platinum although platinum was the big winner of the day as it's up twenty dollars a two percent increase two point two percent increase but the magic was with silver and gold silver uh, outperforming gold today it is up 1.63 percent up 46 cents right now recapturing comfortably $28. It is now $28.81. But here's the kicker. Earlier in the day, it was well north of $29 an ounce. It was $29.24 earlier in the day. A massive move for silver today, uh, certainly with well above 2%, obviously, uh, when, uh, when we saw uh, that move earlier today. It's 1.54% up now. Uh, gold is up 0.73%, uh, up $18.20 to $2,514.40. Its high was at $2,524. <clears throat> Where does this leave the gold to silver ratio? Still very wide, but narrowing somewhat. 87.59 right now. What's behind this big move with gold and silver prices? Well, it's all about anticipation. That's right. Most of you may remember that word from Rocky Horror Picture Show, but this takes it to the next level anticipation as to what they're going to do. The markets are nervous all around with a uh, economic data that is, uh, you know, you can be interpreted of several different ways. And I think the markets don't really know how to interpret it. And hence why we've seen a lot of psychology in the markets and reactions, quick reactions to what's happening here in the markets. Gold is climbing to its highest we've seen since late last month. And we've seen also what's going on with some of the other ADP jobs numbers. We have other jobs numbers that are coming out. But gold prices rose to a near one-week highs on Thursdays on the back of weaker U.S. dollar and lower yields after signs of labor market losing steam led investors to expect a supersized rate cut from the Federal Reserve uh, this month. Now, this article is a couple hours old, and so therefore, it's old news. We're going to get into what the Federal Reserve is, is uh, anticipating here later in the video. Stay tuned for that. Now, gold's price is up, and it's going to probably continue to oscillate in this area um, hanging around above $2,500 an ounce. But what is behind some of this is the U.S. private employers that they've hired their fewest number of workers in three and a half years in August, potentially hinting at a sharp labor market slowdown. This follows data that was posted yesterday showing a sharp decline in U.S. job openings in July. Other ADP data uh, there was a gold spike, and it really shows after this data was released. The labor market is in dire straits, and there is a lot of concern about it, according, according to Philip Stribal, who's the chief market strategist at Blue Line Futures. And that had an effect on the dollar indeed. And the dollar index right now, as I moments before the markets close again, uh, the dollar is uh, suffering. It is now just barely above 101. And I think the magic number is 100 for for gold for the dollar index. Uh, and we you know the strength of the dollar as measured against other currencies out there. And when it suffers like this, and if it falls below 100, that's a psychological number. Uh, we'll see even greater concern. And that, so it is down today, uh, and down at point about 0.17. 
Now, the initial claims data didn't really help either as, as far as painting a rosy picture for the employment situation. And so as, they, as this article was published, traders were seeing a 59% chance of a 25 basis point cut uh, reduction by the U.S. Uh, Central Bank this month and a 41% chance of a 50 basis point uh, rate cut. And the Fed needs to cut interest rates to keep the labor market healthy. But it is now down to incoming economic data to determine how much, according to San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly in a note. Now, before we get to other uh, data that we're gonna looking at, let's, we're going to take a look and see where the Fed, where the numbers are right now. It has increased now. 61% now say that the Federal Reserve is going to just do a quarter point cut. And only 39% chance that the Federal Reserve will do a 50 basis point rate cut. That is a big move in the past couple of hours, and that has cut some of those gains in gold and silver prices. So in other words, this is kind of what I've been talking about even in previous videos. We know they're gonna cut, but just as to how much there will be just depends on the numbers that they release. I still think it's probably gonna be just a quarter point. They're not gonna rock the boat too much this time. Uh, really what's gonna happen is is coming up on the 7th of November. Then the election will be over um, and uh, they can act in accordance to what they think they should do. Um, and it'll still be political, but maybe in a different manner, a different target uh, will be happening there. Uh, so I don't think they're gonna do a, a full half point cut, but the markets think they will with some of the numbers that we're getting. And now attention will turn to the upcoming non-farm payrolls report that will be coming out tomorrow. If the August unemployment rate, is, rate, empl unemployment rate reaches July's 4.3%, which is its highest since 2021, that should send gold back towards its record high as markets ramp up bets for a jumbo size rate cut, in other words, a half percentage point according to Han Tan, Chief Market Analyst at Xfinity Group. Uh, elsewhere, we see uh, silver reacting much more dramatically, and I think silver is reacting as a precious metal rather than as a commodity. Uh, why is this? Well, because um, you know it's following gold in a much more sharp direction, as other commodities are only up marginally. In fact, nickel is actually down, but the other ones are only up marginally, uh, and that's price and their price per pound. So I think that is what we're looking at here, and it'll be very fascinating to see where we where we where it goes from here in terms of gold and silver prices. But one thing is for sure, with gold and silver's wild ride today, you can expect more of it to come, you know, in the in the coming weeks, especially as we head towards that September seventeenth and eighteenth meeting. That meeting is going to tell us a whole lot, and uh, I think if they do lower rates a quarter point. I think that likely we're not going to see much movement in the in the in the com in the metals complex at all, uh, because they're right now expecting it to essentially be more than that. Even now, even as the gains have pulled back some today, uh, unless we get really bad unemployment numbers, then I think that likely things are going to start to pan out, and we're going to see more and more. Uh, uh, indicate indicators that are going to lead more towards a quarter point rate cut um, than anything else. Now, in reality, in spite of what's happening here, I think they should leave rates exactly where they're at right now. Uh, but we know they're not going to do that because they're going to meddle like they always do. And they try to, uh, you know, to shape and shift the economy. And, you know, their, their, their goal is supposedly a strong dollar or stable dollar and stable employment. And uh, right now, in a situation that we find ourselves in with the employment situation, it is off kilter. The chefs at the Cook the Books Club continue to put out data and numbers that get revised downwards. And usually after it's too late or when it's not going to be reported on uh, as strongly as the initial numbers that come out. And so uh, then all bets are off the table. Once this number starts to hit reality, what will the Fed do? And they find themselves stuck between a rock and a hard place and many times because they themselves, including government, spending policies create the problem that only they themselves can solve, or so they tell us. So that's the backdrop of what we find ourselves in. And gold and silver usually suffer as I count on it. Obviously, gold is 
is not suffering too much these days, but that's mostly because of central bank gold buying, which is not slowing down anytime soon. But silver especially gets hit hard. And silver gets hard from multiple different directions, uh, considering the uh, its aspect of as a commodity, as an industrial metal. It's largely an industrial metal. Well over 50% of silver's use is in industry, science, technology, and uh, and so those are the things that we have to consider and take into account with regards to this metal. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. The precious metals uh, movement and price, it's something I like to do on this channel, but I talk about, I discuss other things as well too. So I hope you will check out some of those other videos. Uh, but if you find what you find this information informative, insightful, and educational, I hope you will consider pressing that thumbs up button and subscribing if you haven't done so already. So with that being said, uh, hold on to your gold and silver and make purchases accordingly. I think that likely we very well could see as we head to September, maybe the topping out of gold and uh, maybe silver may stabilize too. I still think that after this Fed cut, uh, the quarter point, we'll see other data that will come through that could lead to more bullish, a more bullish scenario for both metals. Uh, but I think especially silver. So stay tuned. For the madness, stay tuned for the volatility, and uh, all we can do is just ride it out and hold on to our gold and silver. So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video, and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe!